Hey everybody, I'm making the taco dip. I put a picture before I started cooking. This is just ground turkey. And you just cook it just like ground beef. We don't eat uh, red meat or pork in the house. Sometimes I let them have pork chops, but far and few between. They might get it once a year. They had a turkey, they had a ham for cooking. It's, that's what they get. If they want pork chop, they need to save time for the pork chop. But uh, if they want it, they cook them. You know, I, I don't say, I don't have nothing against it. It's just, uh, that's on them. You know what I'm saying? Now, while that is browning, so you cook your ground beef until it's brown enough. And while that's browning, you're going to slice your cream cheese. You'll see what I'm going to do with this once we get started. I think I'm just open up one. Well, I might need one and a half. And um, on your on your stuff, I, you can put onion in it. I just use onion powder because my family's used to not having onions because I can't eat them. Usually when I'm cooking, I have a bowl, but I'm gonna rush off. Try to cook for my husband and go to work. I'll, I'll take out five minutes in a minute and uh, do that. But this is a taco dip. I've been doing this for a long time. Um, you know how you just start cooking something and then it just, everybody just start liking it. But, you know. But when I take the part, they be like, what is it? <laughs> what are you? And you ain't the prettiest thing. But you cut your cream cheese that thick. Let me see if I can put the camera down. Okay. And your cream, this cream cheese is sort of like, you know, when you make taco dip and you use sour cream, this is in, in place of it. I just felt like cream cheese tastes better with it. So, I started doing it that way. Um, now, the meat is almost done. Oh, y'all. I can't stand none of my fingers, I'm sorry. Okay. See, the meat is brown. I'm just making a small one, because it's just for my hood. Okay. You put your taco seasoning in there. You put the taco seasoning three, four cups of water. I'm gonna mix it up, y'all. Okay. I just have to do organized when I cook. And you just cook it like you would any regular taco meal. You simmer it down. You know how you do put the powder on there in the water and you simmer it down. And I like to chop my turkey meat up kind of fan. It fools people into thinking it's uh, ground beef. Uh, I have cooked it with this ground turkey and take it to parties and people are like, I don't eat turkey. After we you eating turkey now? <laughs> What's the between turkey and red meat? Uh, so, if you season it right, it's going to taste good. If you don't season it right, turkey just like uh, tofu. It take on the taste of what season you get. And how well you cook it. So, I'm trying to get this. <laughs> Find me a little slick, y'all. I'm going to go and do this oven because I got a feeling I'm going to need it. So, I don't know if y'all can see me from here. Because I want y'all to see when I lay, 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 I like to have everything ready before I get started. This is the simplest taco dip you will ever do. And some people just put it to the side and take a fork and put the stuff on their chips. Some people uh, will just spoon it over their chips. But I'll tell them how you like it. Because it's not like loose like a regular taco salad. Okay. 
I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn this stuff on my hand, baby. You're gonna have to help me lower with that. Okay. You're gonna use salsa. I used a chunky style and four layer tea. Now let me put this down so y'all see everything I do. Okay. Put the cooked ground beef, ground turkey. And you see how it looks just like ground beef? Cheap so I can't put it on that eye, y'all. But this is turkey. You spread it out. And then what I do is put the cream cheese, a layer of cream cheese. And see this cream cheese just give it that sour cream taste. But a little bit better. It tastes a little bit better than uh cream uh cream cheese. Sour cream. I didn't eat the entire whole pack. But I almost made it. Let me just go and put this over here. Okay. Wait, see how I made that? Then you just take the salsa. And I forgot to turn the oven on. Put the oven on 400. And when the cheese brown, it's done. So, you just spread this over there. I know y'all saying, ooh, the sloppy. It's good, though. It's really good. It's the best thing you ever taste right here. Okay. And the oven has a quite, quite um, got hot yet, but then you layer it with cheese. And y'all, I'll be back when it's done, okay? And that's how you layer, but you can lay it in any order you want. You ain't got to do it like I do. Be back. Hey, everyone. I'm back. My hand all over. Now, to serve this, my husband had an already open bag of chips. There's two ways you can serve this. I'm not going to do it on a regular plate. I'm going to do it on a paper plate. Meaning that I'm just showing y'all how to do it. Okay. So. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Okay. You can take it out. When it comes out, it looks just like a bit. See that? You serve it. The chips on the side. And this one, we're gonna put the chips on the plate. And I'm only doing a small amount because ain't nobody finna eat this. Um, take the dip out. See how the cream cheese and all that mixed in there? Just put it on top. Voila. Taco dip. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. I forgot. Remember to live your life. Life is short. And it sure ain't no dress rehearsal.